Welcome to our New Orleans Travel Guide video. New Orleans is a city located in southeastern Louisiana, United States, on the banks of the Mississippi River. Known for its vibrant culture and history, the city is a melting pot of diverse cultural influences, including French, Spanish, African, and Caribbean. The city is renowned for its architecture, music, food, and festivals, including the famous Mardi Gras celebration. New Orleans is home to many iconic landmarks and neighborhoods. The city's unique blend of history, culture, and entertainment make it a must-visit destination for anyone interested in experiencing the best of Louisiana's vibrant culture. Let's have a look at best places to visit in New Orleans. Number 1. French Quarter The French Quarter, also known as Vieux Cora or the Old Square, is a historic district in New Orleans. It is the oldest neighborhood in the city, founded by the French in 1718 and developed by the Spanish in the 18th century. The French Quarter is famous for its vibrant nightlife, jazz music, and architecture. The neighborhood is bounded by the Mississippi River, Canal Street, Esplanade Avenue, and Rampart Street. It is home to many historic buildings, including the Street Louis Cathedral, the oldest cathedral in North America, and the Cabildo, which served as the seat of government during the Spanish colonial period. Other popular attractions in the French Quarter include Bourbon Street, Jackson Square, and the French Market. Number 2. Mardi Gras Mardi Gras is an annual festival, celebrated in many parts of the world, but most famously in New Orleans. The festival is traditionally held on the day before the Christian season of Lent begins, which is known as Fat Tuesday or Mardi Gras in French. In New Orleans, Mardi Gras is a major cultural event that spans several weeks, with parades, parties, and other festivities taking place throughout the city. The festival is known for its elaborate floats, colorful costumes, and lively music, with the sounds of jazz and brass bands filling the streets. One of the most iconic symbols of Mardi Gras in New Orleans is the Crew, which is a social club that organizes the parades and other events. There are dozens of crews, each with its own unique history and traditions. Number 3. Jackson Square Jackson Square is a historic park and public plaza located in the heart of the French Quarter in New Orleans. It is named after Andrew Jackson, the seventh president of the United States, who is also known for his role in the Battle of New Orleans during the War of 1812. The park was originally known as the Place de Arms and served as a military parade ground during the Spanish colonial period. It was renamed in honor of Andrew Jackson in the 1850s, and today it is a popular tourist destination and gathering place for locals and visitors alike. Jackson Square is surrounded by some of New Orleans' most iconic landmarks, including the Street Louis Cathedral, the Cabildo, and the Presbyter. The park is known for its picturesque beauty, with lush greenery, fountains, and statues scattered throughout the grounds. Number 4. Streetcar the streetcar system in New Orleans is an iconic and historic mode of transportation that has been in operation since the 19th century. The system consists of four lines, the St. Charles Line, the Riverfront Line, the Canal Street Line, and the Rampart St. Claude Line. The St. Charles Line is the oldest continuously operating streetcar line in the world, having first opened in 1835. It runs from the edge of the French Quarter through the Garden District and uptown neighborhoods passing by numerous historic homes and landmarks along the way. The Riverfront Line runs along the Mississippi River, connecting the French Quarter to the Ernest N. Morial Convention Center and the Warehouse District. The Canal Street Line runs the length of Canal Street, from the Mississippi River to the cemeteries at the edge of the city. Number 5. Louis Armstrong Park Louis Armstrong Park is a 32-acre public park located in the Trima neighborhood of New Orleans. The park is named after the legendary jazz musician Louis Armstrong, who was born in the city. The park features a number of attractions, including the Helia Jackson Theater for the Performing Arts, which hosts concerts and other events throughout the year. There are also several sculptures and statues honoring Louis Armstrong and other jazz musicians, as well as a musical garden that features instruments that visitors can play. One of the park's most notable features is the Congo Square area which was a gathering place for African slaves and free people of color in the 18th and 19th centuries. Number 6. St. Louis Cathedral 
The St. Louis Cathedral is a historic Catholic cathedral located in the French Quarter of New Orleans. It is the oldest continuously operating cathedral in the United States and one of the most notable landmarks in the city. The cathedral was originally built in 1724 and has undergone several renovations and additions over the years. The current structure features a mix of architectural styles, including French colonial, Spanish colonial, and Renaissance revival. One of the most striking features of the St. Louis Cathedral is its three spires, which are visible from throughout the French Quarter. The interior of the cathedral is equally impressive, with ornate stained glass windows, murals, and sculptures. Number 7. Oak Alley Plantation Oak Alley Plantation is a historic antebellum plantation located in Vatry, about an hour's drive west of New Orleans. The plantation is named for its signature feature, a stunning avenue of 300-year-old oak trees that lead up to the main house. The main house, which was built in 1839, is a classic example of Greek Revival architecture and features a two-story colonnade of 28 Doric columns. It has been beautifully preserved and furnished with period pieces, offering visitors a glimpse into what life was like on a southern plantation in the 19th century. The plantation also features several other historic buildings, including slave quarters and a blacksmith shop. Number 8. Steamboat Natchez The Steamboat Natchez is a historic paddlewheel steamboat that operates on the Mississippi River in New Orleans, Louisiana. The Natchez is one of the last authentic steamboats still in operation in the United States and has been cruising the Mississippi River since its launch in 1975. The Natchez offers a variety of cruises, including daytime sightseeing tours, evening jazz dinner cruises, and special event cruises for holidays like Mardi Gras and New Year's Eve. The boat is fully equipped with modern amenities, including air conditioning and a full-service bar. One of the highlights of a Natchez cruise is the live jazz music, which is performed by a rotating roster of local musicians. Number 9. Café du Monde Café du Monde is a world-famous café located in the French Quarter of New Orleans. The café has been in operation since 1862 and is known for its iconic bagnets and chicory coffee. Bagnets are a New Orleans specialty. They are deep-fried pastries that are served hot and covered with a generous amount of powdered sugar. At Café du Monde, the bagnets are made fresh to order and are served in orders of three. The chicory coffee at Café du Monde is another specialty of the café. Chicory is a root that has been roasted in ground and is often added to coffee to enhance its flavor. The result is a bold, slightly sweet coffee that is a beloved part of New Orleans' culinary heritage. Number 10. New Orleans City Park New Orleans City Park is a large urban park. The park covers over 1,300 acres and is one of the largest city parks in the United States. It is home to a variety of attractions, including walking paths, lakes, gardens, playgrounds, and sports facilities. The park also hosts a variety of events throughout the year, including concerts, festivals, and holiday celebrations. The park is also home to the Sydney and Walda Besthoff Sculpture Garden, which features over 90 sculptures set among 11 acres of lagoons, walking paths, and mature live oak trees. Other attractions in City Park include the Carousel Gardens Amusement Park, a miniature train ride, a botanical garden, a golf course, and several athletic fields and facilities. Number 11. Garden District The Garden District is a historic neighborhood in New Orleans, known for its beautiful architecture, lush gardens, and charming streets. The neighborhood was established in the mid-19th century, when wealthy Americans began to move to the area to escape the crowded French Quarter. The Garden District is characterized by its large, opulent mansions, many of which were built in the Greek Revival and Italianate styles. Some of the most famous homes in the neighborhood include the Buckner Mansion, which was used as the exterior for the home of the vampire Lestat in the film Interview with the Vampire, and the Commander's Palace, a historic restaurant that has been in operation since 1893. Number 12. New Orleans Museum of Art the New Orleans Museum of Art is a world-renowned art museum. The museum was founded in 1910 and has since become one of the most important cultural institutions in the southern United States. 
Noma's collection includes over 40,000 works of art, spanning from ancient times to the present day, with a particular focus on American and European art. The museum's collection includes paintings, sculptures, decorative arts, and photography, among other mediums. Some of the most notable works in the museum's collection include pieces by Pablo Picasso, Jackson Pollock, and Georgia O'Keeffe, as well as a significant collection of African art and artifacts.